is any of this sort of by design, like we knew we would be bad and this is fine to kick off the season or is there something else that the San Jose Sharks organization is feeling right now? Well, yeah, I mean, I thought, I think they, they, they knew that they were going to be, uh, you know, there would be a tough season for them, whether or not they thought 0-8-1 oh, with nine goals scored in nine games. Was, I don't think it would, they thought it would be this bad. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously they're in a situation, they've been pretty honest about it, about being in a, in a rebuild and, and uh, sort of a transition phase right now for them. So, uh, you know, for, from their perspective, you know, this is all kind of part of a, a plan that they hope to have in place here. And, you know, obviously, we, uh, you know, get some high draft picks, get some new players in here, and hopefully build something sure. towards uh, long term here. So um, they're not, uh, I mean, obviously, they're, you talk to the players, you talk to the coaching staff, they still, they still want to win games, but they're honest about where they are right now as an organization. You know, how many, uh, I would imagine often, how much are people talking about, you know, someone who, you know, played in the Junior Sharks program at a at his 14U level? Uh, how much are people talking about Macklin Celebrini right now around San Jose? Get him back yeah. up to you. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. He's uh, he's part of the, uh, a guy who, who a lot of, you know, have a lot of local connections here. Not only did he play for the Junior Sharks, his dad uh, works for the Golden State Warriors here, so that's why they were in the Bay Area to sort of begin with. And so it's kind of, it almost be kind of kismet to sort of have it all kind of come uh, around and have uh, have him as part of the Sharps organization going forward. And, you know, a lot of the same conversations were had a little bit last year too when it comes to Connor Bedard. I mean, what if you add him to this mix? Uh, you know, that was a very real possibility last year too. So, but you're right. I mean, to go through some pain right now, if you're going to wind up with a number one overall pick, that was certainly help things a little bit in terms of this uh, in terms of this rebuild and that gives it gives uh, gives sharks fans some, some hope for the long term.